Okay, this is just a, um, a quick catch-up video uh, to show you how I've been getting on with this helmet design. I've changed the design of the visor at the front here. This is just the new prototype, so there's a bit of sanding needs to be doing. But I've, um, I've changed the design of the, the visor to give it a more accurate representation here of the Elite Dangerous Remlock helmet. And I'm very pleased with the shape of it. It's come out really well, and I'm sure once that's cast in uh, vacuum formed acrylic, that will look really nice. There's still a lot of sanding to do on this, uh, particularly on the, the back dome here and the joins here between the sections of the visor. But I'm very pleased with uh, how this uh, final prototype has turned out and it might even be good enough to, um, to be the final version. Okay, so I've printed the top cross member that goes over the top of the helmet. Uh, I've redesigned this slightly. I've put a groove on the inside of the cross member so that I can put some clear acrylic in there and then I can illuminate that clear acrylic with some LED lights so they're going to go in that little slot just there on the end of the cross member goes all the way up to the other end of the cross member where I can have another little blue LED light. Now I've cut this um, acrylic from this sheet. It comes with a white backing that can be peeled off and a blue backing on this side of the acrylic sheet. But I'm going to leave that blue backing on there because that will help with the colour transfer. So what I've done is I've cut a couple of these strips. I'm going to peel off this white side here and then I'm, what I'll end up with is this nice blue acrylic strip. Don't peel off the, uh, the blue backing like I did on the first attempt. <laughs> Leave it on and that keeps it a nice blue colour for the inside of the cross member. Now, as you can see I put the blue LED into the little slot on the inside of the cross member and you can see the acrylic there. I'm just holding it in while I glue it. A little bit of super glue. Um, hopefully the light from the LED will go through this acrylic strip by total internal reflection. Um, but the strip is blue in itself, so the effect is there. But I'm just hoping to enhance it with a nice blue LED colour. And there we have it, with the LED glued in position. So today, I've soldered in the little blue light emitting diodes that go into the muff on both sides and the wires come through into the muff so that um, we can illuminate the LEDs. Now I've got the uh, LEDs installed on the helmet 
I've also put the muff covers on the muff. Um, two inch speaker in each of the muff covers. I'll detail that in a later video. And I'm just going to assemble it now into its complete form. And here I've just uh, inserted the rear foam section which is going to be glued into place on the inside of the helmet. That's just EVA foam carved at the back of course so it gives the nice shape although this is only the prototype. And here with the cross member at the top with its blue acrylic LED um, illuminated insert which I've still got to connect up the LEDs but it's all in place. Of the cross member. That goes into the helmet like so. A little bit further back on the visor but that's so that the visor can lift without catching the cross member. There we have it installed on the helmet. You can see the blue of the inside there. As you can see from the visor on the helmet, and this is just a prototype, I've changed the design of the helmet visor so that it more accurately reflects the curves on the Remlock helmet from the Elite Dangerous game. Obviously there's some sanding work to do here, rubbing down, spraying, things like that, um, but this is only a prototype visor. It fits very nicely on the inside, I don't know if you can see that. And it's designed to lift over the, the muff covers just here. Now the design of this helmet here continues with the back of the helmet. Let me show you that. This is the new shape of the back of the helmet. Again, awaiting sanding, rubbing down, spraying, etc. But that now continues the curve along the back of the helmet, which is far better than my original design. It pretty much accurately reflects the actual shape of the Remlock helmet. And it all goes together just nicely, with one being slightly inside the other, so that you can lift the visor up from in front of your face. 